Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video, a uh, very informative video. I'm getting uh, a lot of questions, frequently asked questions, asking how do you get slime blocks? Why are you already in 1.8? It hasn't been released yet. How do I use schematics? What do I do with the world file after I download it? Uh, it? Now, if you know the answer to all these questions, then I suggest you go watch another video. Uh, if you have uh, no, uh, yeah, if you're if you're missing an answer to one of these questions, then I suggest you stick around and just click the annotation to uh, the thing you want to know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm probably going to link this on or put it in the description of most of my videos, just because, uh, yeah, to avoid the question asking. Starting up with, how do you get slime blocks, or how do I get uh, the experimental builds? Now, what you want to do is you want to start up Minecraft, and after you've launched it, uh, it's going to start up, you get into the launcher, and you will see, uh, just what everyone else sees, and there's this little button at the bottom left called Edit Profile. You want to go there, and there you want to uh, click the Enable Experimental Development Versions, aka Snapshots. And when you've done that, you can select what snapshot you want to be in, whereas you don't have this selected, you can only choose uh, yeah, the, the stable versions. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm messing around with the uh, development builds, and yeah, you could use whatever. Like I'm currently still in 21B, just because I don't really need the Guardians or anything like that, and I think that 21B is a bit more stable, but as soon as there's a, a newer version that's more stable, I'll probably hop onto that. And then you save profile. And after you save profile, you, uh, you just click play, and hopefully it's gonna load the jar. And when you open up Minecraft, uh, at the top left, it should say already 14W21B. And as you can see, we are now in the, in the snapshot. So we get the slime blocks and all the interesting mechanics. How do you load schematics into a world? Um, one of the things you can do is you can use the program called MC Edit. Uh, download link you can find in the description of the video. Um, after you install it, uh, inside the folder will be uh, an MC Edit.exe file, which will basically start up the program. Uh, but what you also need is you need a schematic that you can paste in somewhere. And often creators of Redstone or builds or Mostly for the smaller stuff, what will, what they'll do is they'd add uh, schematic files. Um, and if you download one of these, what you have to do is you have to search for the uh, MC Edit Schematics folder. And once you found it, you just plunk it in there somewhere. And then we start up MC Edit. And after you start up MC Edit, uh, it's a good thing to have is already a, a world where you want to put it in. Um, I just uh, happen, or I happen to have one, which is the frequently asked questions world, and just the flat world I just started for this video. Uh, but you see the world, you see your character, you can move around um, with the A W S D. Uh, you can move the camera around by holding the right mouse button, and you can basically click stuff and select stuff with the left mouse button. Now then, what you want to do is you want to click the import button and it will bring you immediately to the MC Edit schematics folder. And once you are in there, what you want to do is just search for the schematic you just uh, added, which is in my case, the uh, Gargantua CTS. And you'll get the, <laughs> the build pretty much, and you can mirror it uh, by pressing G, you can uh, rotate it, you can uh, roll it, which is all really dumb in this case. You could flip it if you wanted to too. Um, and, but if you're, uh, you can move it around by grabbing like the sides of the, uh, uh, the box it's in. Uh, I want it there. Uh, and once you're happy, you just press enter and you can then deselect it. And then you just save it and you can save it here or you can use control S to save it. Uh, and you're done. Uh, so then we can uh, close this, let's see, quit. So now the question is, did it work? Well, hopefully, uh, we go to single player. 
and we go to the frequently asked questions world there should be a gigantic walking robot there and there is uh, so yeah this is quite nice and um, got to make sure though if you um, upload a schematic and you start up the world that um, the version you are running version of Minecraft that is uh, can actually handle the blocks so if you uh, upload uh, a thing with slime blocks make sure that the version you are running actually has slime blocks uh, in it <laughs> pretty much but yeah so much for the how to paste stuff in with MC edits moving on to how do you use uh, world files that have been um, created by uh, by other people often uh, people that build adventure maps mini games creations uh, builds whatever uh, they will add uh, yeah save folders most of them are zipped like uh, like this one for instance and uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, be thankful that we can use winrar without paying and then uh, you want to uh, unzip it so you get the folder and after you have the folder you have to find the uh, the minecraft uh, folder in the app data and the way you could do that is if you go to the toolbar and I'm Dutch, but my uh, my Windows actually set to English because it's a lot more useful if you're if you're having issues and you want to look up stuff on Google. Um, but yeah, uh, you search for the run program. Uh, in Dutch, it's uh, Uitvoeren. Uh, I have no idea what it is in German. Um, but in the in the run thing, you type percentage app data percentage, and you click OK, and that should bring you to the uh, the app data folder. Uh, roaming and uh, conveniently at the top you will find the dot minecraft folder cleverly with a dot in front and in there is like screenshot saves resource packs etc uh, so you could also do all the other stuff here um, but if you have a world file you want to go to the uh, the saves folder and I have a ridiculous amount of saves um, mainly because I have so many backups um, I'm just going to call this uh, 0000, 000, 000 um, because it will hopefully end up at the top somewhere. So we put it in there somewhere. And now the, the, the thing is, um, Minecraft sorts stuff by, uh, yeah, the date it has been last been been modified. Um, so I'm going to start up Minecraft, and then I'm going to hopefully find it somewhere in the list it's a miracle but after 10 minutes uh, among the 800 save files i have i finally found it um but hopefully this contains uh yeah this is basically from the video i uploaded a while back um but yeah you uh just play it and uh, hopefully you won't have to search that long if you don't have that many save games um, but then you can play your mini games, your adventure maps, and uh, should be good to go. Anyways, I hope this uh, answered some of the questions. Uh, I will be linking to this video in probably all my videos from now on. Um, and uh, hopefully get a bit more people to mess around with the slime blocks because they are already available in the snapshot. Uh, you can mess around with world files and MC edit schematics. So yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you want, comment for more questions, and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.